Hello, uh, this is Confusing, welcome back to a new review on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Retails of the Team and T, Volume 2, Issue Number 30, White Worm. And oh god, this one was a really great issue because this one was dealing with a mystery with Michelangelo, uh, dealing with him like looking out for this blind man and things getting like Kate, like Kate getting reset for the day, and it was an interesting mystery. And then there's also a backup story which is depressing for a few reasons, so we've got all that to look forward to today. Okay, so the actual main story itself, we do get to see Michelangelo, he first saves this blind man who's about to get hit by a truck, and I did feel like a lot of like, resemblance to the issue number one, or the Mirage Turtles with the origins of how basically the blind man nearly got hit by the TSRI building of a truck, I did feel like a lot of re like, resemblance there. But basically, this man gets saved by Mikey, and he offers him a room so that he can stay in because he thinks that Mikey's homeless. Now, Mikey does take up this offer just so they can write, actually write his book. I mean, I'm not too sure whereabouts this really takes place on the timeline, just because we hold stuff with Mikey. Because I feel like there are like definitely places that he can go to within this universe, like in the sewers, Northampton, stuff like that. And I think that's what just makes this whole story feels a little bit weird in a way, with Mikey taking like the offer from the blind man. And in a way, this feels a little bit weird that he does take it because he doesn't really need it, but he takes it. And I, I think it's so like so stupid that he takes it just so that he can actually write his book throughout the whole issue. And I just find it so weird. But yeah, so then after that we do get to see Mikey, he moves in, and he's about to start writing this book, but then he gets keep, like getting distracted by it, just because he wants to write about a, like, he wants to write about like certain pl uh, like, points in time, and uh, places in the world and stuff like that, but whenever he does it, he always gets distracted by the other stuff, and with the history, the lore, or characters and stuff like that, which I must admit is an interesting thing, just because we never really get to see this side side of like uh, like writers in like any form. So I do find that to be pretty interesting that we are seeing that side of like Mikey or a writer, which I do find pretty interesting. But it's here we do get revealed that Mikey has basically been keeping tabs on this whole building, the neighborhood and stuff like that. And there is one man that like he's got like going up and down the stairs and he's going out and stuff like that and he's doing out and, and doing it all without being seen. So Mikey is curious one night and he does take a look and he follows him and that's when we do get to see him reading a book and then that's when things are rewound in time. And Mikey wakes up again, and then he goes off and he sees a man, and that's when he reveals that he's flying. So then the time gets three round again, so Mikey goes out again another night, and then this is where things get really weird, because the man just uh, pulls out the book again, he starts reading it, there's this big white worm that comes out the ground, and then starts talking to him, and the man's like, ah oh, yes please, I don't want to be immortal forever, please, can you like take away this, like, this, like, this demon and stuff like that, and you, can, and you can take me, you can sacrifice me, all these people in the world are going to get sacrificed, please take my offer, and I can die and you can have me. And then time gets me around again, and I think that, that like that bit there was the most confusing part about it. And the thing is with that bit there, they never explain it ever again, or they sort of do, but not in a good way. And I think that it's like an okay bit here, but there's a lot of mystery behind all of it because we don't know this is really real or what's happening and stuff like that. And with the stuff which I do sort of talk about with sacrificing humans and stuff like that is pretty interesting. Uh, but with it maybe not being real, it's sort of a little bit disappointing because this is a really interesting concept. Also not to mention, where does the white one come from? I got so many questions about that. But then after that, we do get the truth about everything that's going on. And we do get to see Mikey, he wakes up and the other turtle's there. And the truth co uh, finally comes out and the turtle's reveal basically, Mikey didn't really save the man properly. He did save the man, however, he did get hit by the truck as well. And that's when he went into the like in the apartment building, which the ma or the blind man gave him. And Mikey's been out cold ever since, and he's been taken in cum dockside. And that's just why he's a bit delusional and stuff like that, which I think is an okay explanation for all of it. And just being like a, you know, it's a good one-off kind of thing, and it really fits in well with the tales of Tim and T. Also, I was saying stuff, I won't lie, I was a little, little bit disappointed because 
I was really interested uh, in this whole story, and then all to just be like, oh yeah, it's just a dream. It just really got killed the mood immediately there. So yeah, I won't lie, that was really, really disappointing. So, and then there was uh, the backup story, and normally with backup stories, I never really talk about them just because most of the stories in this uh, Intel City to Me stuff is just pointless, boring, and stuff like that, and it's just there. But then, oh boy, this one for this one, oh god, I, I some reason I had to actually read it, and I quite enjoyed it because in this one, we do get to see Raphael, and it's a really depressing story. Now, in this story, we do get to see Raphael, he's angry, and he wants to know why, he wants to talk to uh, someone, and he reveals basically everyone else is out doing their own thing, and he can't really talk to anyone, and that's when he wants to turn to someone else. Another person is his mother, which, um, in this universe, he doesn't really have one, or, or at the very least we don't know of yet, because I find it, like, interesting that in the RW version, we do have... Uh, Tang Shen as their mother, but then in like every other version they don't have mothers even though they still do because of turtles and stuff like that, but they never really explore that side of the characters. So I do find that pretty interesting, but then we just get to see Raphael just like like breaks down, goes onto the floor, starts crying, and April comes in and a little bit weird here because we do get to see April calling Raph um, her baby and Raph uh, sort of seeing her as a mother figure. So, um, yeah, that's a pretty <laughs> interesting relationship I think they have now. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, overall, this whole issue, it's certainly an interesting one. A really great one. The backup story, depressing, but great. Um, I don't know what to really say about that because I feel like that whole story just needs a whole video on its own just because of how diff uh, like de depressing and different it is, which is cool, but at the same time, just really, yeah. But the actual main story itself, I really enjoy the artist, um, he he's been on quite a few issues, I really enjoy the artist, um, the story was really great with the whole mystery, with the what worm, the blind man, the time travelling stuff and all that, I thought that was all really great. I think the only disappointing thing about this issue is the fact that it is revealed that it's just a dream. And I think that this could have been like really interesting if maybe it was done over like quite a few issues or they'll lean up to something a bit more or just basically anything but it being a dream. But I think that's the only problem which I've got to say with it and I think with that, it's, I think that just show, goes to show how good this issue is so um, yeah. Oh god, but yeah, let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this issue, do you like it, do you not, and uh, yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for today guys, if it doesn't, please share lots of subscribe and all stuff, goodbye, yo, bye!